안녕하세요 여러분 Welcome to the grand and electrifying Hallyu Talk Awards 2.0 The stage where the heartbeats of millions sink to the rhythm of Hallyu That's right and trust me tonight is not just any night it's the culmination of a year filled with iconic music unforgettable drama moments and unparalleled fan passion I am Nishal and I am Nidhi and we are your hosts for tonight And before she tells you some big fancy words about herself, let me just tell you that she's a big time K-pop stan, <laughs> and that's literally all she listens to. Look who's talking! Aren't you the one always asking me to binge watch all K drama so that we can talk about it later? Now, now, let's just agree that we're both obsessed with all things Hallyu. Yeah, and as our fans already know, the best place to stay updated with all things Hallyu is Hallyu Talk. The home of K culture, whether it is about our favorite K-pop stars, trending K dramas, and much more. Last year, Hallyu Talk hosted the first ever K culture award show in India, and you showered us with your love. And while the first edition set the stage on fire, we are back with a roaring encore. And you, our fans, are the ones who made this happen. Absolutely, every comment, every vote, every voice has shaped this evening. It was you who decided who stands in the spotlight tonight. An award show by the fans, for the fans, and truly of the fans. We've got twelve sizzling categories crafted by the stellar Hallyu Talk editorial team, and three special ones straight from the heartbeats of you, our fans. And oh wait, did you think we would just give away awards? Buckle up, because we have got a lot of breathtaking performances that will leave you gasping for more. So without further ado, let's dive into the world where music meets drama, where passion meets artistry. Welcome one and all to the Hallyu Talk Awards 2.0. Let the festivities begin. Starting off with a quick look at our awesome categories. First up, we have the breakout hoobie of the year, followed by the most catchy song of the year, then most popcorn worthy show of the year, fantastic K drama scene stealer. Best male squad of the year. Best female squad of the year. Relationship goals of the year. Fantastic meme king or queen. Debut album of the year. Best actor of the year. Best actress of the year. Fantastic K-pop idol variety show. Best OST release of the year. Fashionista of the year. And and the crowning jewel of the evening, the epitome of the Hallyu wave, the Hallyu talk. Star of the year. Ah, with so much excitement packed in one, one thing's for sure, this is going to be one unforgettable night. Couldn't have said it better. So, Hallyu fans, are you ready? Because we are just getting started. But before we begin with our first category, a huge thank you to all our Hallyu fans for pouring in their love into the Hallyu Talk Awards 2.0. Your love made us reach new heights and even trended us on Twitter. Oh wait. Should I say X now? Listen, I can't wait one extra moment, okay? So now let's start with our first category. Wait, before we do that, can you tell me what should I mention is my talent, singing or dancing? Where? In my K-pop audition form, of course. Oh wow! You know what? I think you should mention trying as a talent for now, hmm? Because if the nominees of our next category are anything to go by, you've got a long way to go. Before you debut as a K-pop hoobie, my friend. Actually, you have a point because starting your journey in the world of K-pop isn't just about being new. It's about carving a niche, bringing a fresh wave, and creating new love stories with fans. And here are the sensational nominees for Breakout Hoobie of the Year, who have us all eagerly watching their every move. Fifty Fifty, New Jeans, Le Seraphim, Vivis, Tempest, and TNX. Every time a song of theirs plays, I find myself dancing, even if it's just a head bob in traffic. I personally love Sour Grapes by Les Seraphim. Such fresh talent, right? Absolutely. But wait, this time I'm not picking a bias because my playlist is dominated by all these amazing artists. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for, and the breakout hoobie of the year goes to. Lay Seraphim. Woohoo! Lay Seraphim truly took the world by storm. The fearless tracks, the anti-fragile vibes, hmm, simply irresistible. Couldn't agree more. 
it's no wonder that they broke so many records and have won so many awards in their debut year. Here's one more feather to add to that hat. And for all you fans out there, keep those light sticks glowing because we have another category that promises to be a roller coaster of emotions. Moving on, we have the category that's all about rhythm and groove. Get ready for the most catchy song of the year. Oh, this category is for those tunes that you find yourself humming in the shower, on your way back to work, basically everywhere. Indeed. Without any further ado, let's unveil the tunes that had all of us hooked. Here are our fantastic nominees. That That by Sai featuring Sugar of BTS. High Boy by New Jeans. BTBT by B.I. Soldier Boy featuring Devita. Polaroid Love by N-Hyphen. Hot by Seventeen. And Darari by Treasure. I swear, every time that that comes on, I find myself doing the signature side dance moves. It's so instinctive, right? Absolutely. And let's not even get started on the number of times <laughs> Darari has been on repeat. But the moment we've all been waiting for. So, the most catchy song of the year award goes to hmm, That That by Sai featuring Sugar of BTS. Massive congratulations to Sai and Sugar of BTS. Truly the anthem of the year. And you, Nishil, it's time. Time for what? Shang Nane, come on. You're not escaping that easily, okay? So, we had a bet that if That That wins, we'll do the signature step together on stage. All right, all right. Let's have some music, shall we? So, are we ready? Three, two, one, go! That, that, I like that. That, that, I like that, baby. And so do all you Hallyu fans. And don't you stop screaming and streaming. Up next is a category that's sure to tug you at your heartstrings. From music that got us dancing, we move to stories that kept us glued to our screens. Up next is the most popcorn-worthy show of the year. You know those series where you promise yourself just, just one last episode and then suddenly it's 4 a.m. What are you doing? Wait. Are we going to watch the show? Yeah, right. Even if we did have the time, I bet you have seen all the nominees at least twice. Of course, that was only for research purposes to host today's show. Let's take a look at our binge-worthy nominees. Little Women. Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Reborn Rich. All of Us Are Dead. Pachinko. And Business Proposal. I still remember the cliffhangers in All of Us Are Dead. They had me at the edge of my seat every single time. And the family dynamics in Pachinko. Pure cinematic <laughs> brilliance. But let's find out who took the crown. And the show that had us cancelling all plans and diving deep into drama is... Hmm... Extraordinary Attorney Wu! Asa! Congratulations to Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Whether it was the compelling storylines, Park Eun-bin's nuanced portrayal of Young Woo, the budding romance between Young Woo and Jun Ho. I mean, are we even surprised about this one? And just like you, our fans loved it too and found a special connection to the show. And you know what else they have a special connection to? Our next category! A category that's truly close to our hearts because it's been crafted by you, our amazing fans. The fantastic K-drama scene stealer. Those standout moments that made us laugh, cry, just took our breath away. Scenes where the actors weren't just acting, they were the moment. From heartbreaks to heroics, let's dive into the scenes that left a mark. Here are the nominees. Kim Min Q removing glasses in business proposal. Yoon Chan Yong crying in All of Us Are Dead. Park Eun Bin dabbing in Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Son to Gu worshipping in My Liberation Notes. Kim Tae-ri breaking up in 2521. Park Ji-hoon screaming in Weak Hero Class 1. Each of these moments felt so real. I mean, Kim Tae-ri break up scene in 2521? Who did not shed a tear? Or the sheer intensity when Park Ji-hoon screams in Weak Hero Class 1? Cinematic gold. The scene that truly stole our hearts 
this year voted by you, the fans, is hmm. Kim and Q removing glasses in business proposals. Congratulations to Kim and Q, a scene that will be remembered for ages. Which is why Nidhi here has promised our fans that she will reenact it for us right now. What? Well, you know what? Hold this. Hmm. Watch me. Thank you. Thank you. And after acknowledging individual brilliance, it's time to celebrate the power of teamwork. Oh. Are we here already? Alright folks, we're now entering territory where fan groups unite. The beats get louder and the stakes, oh, they are sky high. You can feel the energy in the air. This category, it's the talk of the town. The buzz on every fan's lips. Time for the best male squad of the year. These groups aren't just talented artists. They are global phenomena, setting the world stage on fire. The nominees are BTS, Seventeen, Atiz, Stray Kids, TXT, and NCT. Now, word on the street is that the competition was fierce, especially between BTS and Stray Kids. Both have had an incredible year. And the votes? Oh, they were neck and neck. I was biting my nails just <laughs> looking at the numbers rolling. But what else would you expect? It's Army versus Stay. And the anticipation, the tension, it's palpable. So without further ado, the male squad that conquered charts, hearts, and this award is hmm, BTS. Hearty congratulations to the K-pop juggernauts as they complete 10 years since their debut. Nidhi, I know you don't need me to tell you this, but did you know that BTS even has a record for having records? They have even broken their own records a few times. Wow! I think you are ready to officially be a member of BTS ARMY. But you know what I am ready for? Some debug dance moves by the insanely talented Chirag! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our first performance of the night. On Super by the awesome Chirag. I swear, I couldn't keep calm. Me too. So I'm going to carry that excitement into the next category. Because now, it's time to shine the spotlight on the female squads that aced every move and made us groove to their tunes. Let's celebrate the queens who have been ruling our playlists. These female squads aren't just icons. They are trailblazers, role models and global sensations all wrapped into one. Their talent, limitless. Their charisma, unbeatable. Let's meet the nominees for the best female squad of the year. Brace yourselves because here they are. Blackpink, Twice, Red Velvet, Mama Moo, Ive, Idol. You know, each group has its own unique style, bringing something special to the table. Honestly, I wouldn't want to be the one choosing between them. And the title for the best female squad of the year, the group that has dazzled us all year long, goes to Blackpink! From becoming the first Asian act to headline Coachella to becoming the most subscribed musical act on YouTube, Blinks have had a lot to celebrate this year. And they'll keep it coming for sure. Now, while we've celebrated squads, it's time to dive into the world of on-screen partnerships that made our hearts skip a beat. Yes, those pairs whose chemistry was simply electric. These duos gave us all the feels and made us wish love was like a K-drama. Oh, absolutely. They're the ones that led to my unrealistic romantic expectations. Wait, weren't you practicing a rain scene a while back? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure? I mean, I really love the rain sequence though. It was dreamy. Well, would you like to reenact one with me? Cool, let's do it.
But hold on. <laughs> Before we get lost in our own dreams, let's check out the nominees for the relationship goals of the year. Kang Teo, Park Eun Bin from Extraordinary Attorney Wu, Nam Joo Hyuk and Kim Tae Ri from Twenty Five Twenty One. Lee Jong Suk and Yuna from Big Mouth, Son Suk Gu and Kim Ji Won from My Liberation Notes, Ahn Yeo So and Kim Se Jong from Business Proposal, Lee Jae Wook and Go Yoon Jung from Alchemy of Souls. See any moments you'd like to reenact next? I mean, there are a few, but let's first find out who won. That's right. So, the couple that truly gave us relationship goals this year is. Hmm. And your soap and Kim Se Jong from Business Proposal. The story of going from a blind date to blindly in love got all of us hooked into each laugh, each moment of tension. It was such a delight to watch and truly unforgettable. While we're talking about unforgettable moments, our fans have picked their most meme-worthy one. So, get ready for some serious laughs in the next category. Okay, Nisha. What's so funny? I'm just looking at these Hallyu memes. They're so funny. Some of these idols have the funniest expressions. It's impossible to not laugh. So oh, trust me on this. I have seen a few that are now permanently etched into my memory. <laughs> K-drama and K-pop fandoms surely know how to turn moments into meme gold. Absolutely. Speaking of meme gold, it's time to celebrate the very idols who became the faces of some of our favorite memes. Presenting the nominees for fantastic meme king or queen, P1 Harmony's Kiho, TXT's Bum Q, NCT's Hecha, Twice's Nayo, Shiny's Ki, and Seventeen. Each of these nominees has given us countless laughs, but only one can be crowned the meme king or queen. And the title for the fantastic meme king or queen goes to hmm, TXT's Bungu. TXT's Bungu also doubles up as the energizer. His infectious sense of humor making him a legendary source of memes. Oh, the length that K-pop idols go to for their fans. You know, Nishil, memes give us a quick laugh, but music, oh. Music can breathe new life into you, and it can set the stage on fire. The best music from the years gone by has had us all moving to the beat and singing at all times, including in the middle of an award show, apparently. And then this move, and then this move. Oh, why is this song so good? I wonder what track he is listening to. You know what? Let me guess. Hmm. It's one from a Daebak album of the year nomination, isn't it? I mean, you know me too well. But music has the power to transport us, to make us feel alive. And these albums, they've been the heartbeat of the Hallyu community this year. Oh, totally. Whether you're dancing in your room, singing in the shower, or just chilling on a long drive, these albums provided the perfect soundtrack. So, without further ado. Let's dive into our nomination for the Daebak album of the year. BTS is proof. Blackpink's Bomb Pink. Seventies Face the Sun. Stray Kids Ordinary. TXT's Mini So Two Thursday's Child. And NCT Dream's Glitch Mode. Oh my! The choices. How did our fans even pick from these bangers? A tough job indeed, but pick they did. And our Daebak winner is. BTS is proof. You strong congratulations. I mean, I could list down the amazing numbers that the album did, but more than anything, it was bound to win because it was a true love letter from BTS to their fans, a capsule of their journey across the past ten years, and a message that the best is yet to come. All right, everyone, from the melodies that captured our souls. Let's dive into the world of raw emotions and powerful performances. It's time for the best actor of the year. <clears throat> Listen, what are you doing? Channeling my inner actor, Nidhi. The passion, the emotion, the the artistry. Babu, you know what? 
Maybe we should leave the acting bit to our incredibly talented nominees of the year. Hmm? Perhaps you're right, but for a moment there, I felt it. I felt the essence of a true actor. You know what? We let our viewers be the judge for that. But for now, let's focus on the real stars. Here are the talented nominees for the best actor of the year. Lee Jae Hook for Alchemy of Souls. Nam Joo Hyuk for 2521. Lee Min Ho for Pachinko. Song Joong Ki for Reborn Rich. Park Ji Hoo for Weak Hero Class 1. An Hyo So for Business Proposal. Such powerhouses. This category is undoubtedly a tough one. And the award goes to... Lee Min Ho for Pachinko! The king of rich man strikes again with his nuanced portrayal of a wealthy fish broker in the highly acclaimed drama series. He's never been absent from any Hallyu award season. And this year is no different. A huge congratulations to Lee Min Ho for the win! How about we celebrate this extra special win with an extra special performance? Everybody, it's time to put on your dancing shoes as Chris brings us an extra special performance that promises to be worth all your money. Wow, <laughs> she made it look so easy. I'm gonna go home and practice this. Meanwhile, from here, we shift our spotlight to the incredibly talented women who grace our screens. Hang tight, everyone, because up next, Nidhi, what are you up to? Oh, hey, Ahi Ma. Hmm, I'm in the middle of my poignant K drama scene. I was just about to confess my deep love for the main lead. Hmm, or maybe just find out that I am secretly the heir to a Che Ball empire. Hmm? Ah, got it, got it. Your dedication to getting into the character is impressive. <laughs> Although, I must say the competition from our nominees might be a tad fierce, huh? Oh, absolutely! The roles that these ladies took on this year, oh my god, simply unmatched. The performances resonated with fans globally. And choosing a winner amongst them? Now that's a real K-drama level plot twist, isn't it? Well said. Speaking of which, here are our fabulous nominees for the Best Actress of the Year. Park Hoon Win for Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Kim Go Un for Little Women. Song Hae Kyo for The Glory. Kim Tae Ri for 2521. Kim Se Jong for Business Proposal. And Shin Min Ah for Our Blues. Park Hoon Win and Song Hae Kyo. It was a neck and neck race between these two. Such amazing talents both of them. You know, I'm personally a bit biased towards Park Hoon Bin's sensitive and nuanced portrayal of Attorney Wu. Oh, of course. But you also can't ignore Song Hae Kyo's complex performance as a vengeful mastermind in the glory. Absolutely. And the crown for Best Actress goes to... Hmm. Park Hoon Bin from Extraordinary Attorney Wu. Her portrayal of Young Wu shows us a consistent sincerity, never going over the top. In a role that could have been lost in a web of assumptions and prejudices, she shone through with her dedication to the craft. Speaking of dedication, you know what's incredible? The sheer passion and creativity of our fans. The memes, the fan arts, the remixes and oh, the variety shows. Exactly! The world of K-pop is incomplete without these epic idol variety shows. The laughter, the fun games, the candid moments, all brought to us by our next and final fan-made categories. So, brace yourself people. Alright Nishil, for our next challenge, you have exactly 10 seconds to name as many K-pop idol variety shows as you can. Are you ready? Wait, what? Are you turning this into a variety show segment now? Just getting into the spirit of things. Okay, three, two, one, go. Listen, you're putting me in a spot. Hold on. Come on. Uh, BTS is run BTS. Okay. Uh, going seventeen. Uh, I know this one. Come on. Two can do it. Oops. Time's up. Well, that was decent. But hey, aren't you forgetting a few? I mean, I knew I was setting myself up for that. 
But hey, if our amazing audience had the chance to name them, I bet they would <laughs> nail it in seconds. No doubt about it. Especially because they're the ones who created this category. So, without further ado, here are the nominees for the fantastic K-pop idol variety show. 70s going 17. BTS's run BTS. Choose you can do it. TXC's to do. And hyphen N o'clock. And ITZY's code name secret ITZY. And the fantastic variety show award goes to. BTS is run BTS! Woohoo! This one's truly for the fans and by the fans. It sure is. And speaking of things fans are passionate about, there's one category that stirred up so much discussion. I mean, what's a K-drama without its soul-stirring soundtrack, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, it's that iconic song that plays during that tear-jerking, heart-fluttering, goosebump-inducing K-drama scene making a place in our hearts forever. So true. There are times I'd just be randomly humming a tune and I would suddenly feel like I'm reliving a scene from my favourite show. Oh, 100%. And this year, the competition in this category was through the roof. Fans have been specially vocal about their favourites. It's time we find out which track managed to touch the deepest chords. Here are the nominees for the best OST release of the year. With You by BTS's Jimin and Ha Sung Woo from R Blues. Love Maybe by Mellow Man from Business Proposal. Christmas Tree by BTS's V from Our Beloved Summer. Starlight by NCT's Stay Ill from 2521. Beyond My Dreams by Sun Woo Janga from Extraordinary Attorney Woo. Scars Leave Beautiful Trace by Ka The Garden from Alchemy of Souls. You know, I distinctly remember the feeling in Our Beloved Summer when Christmas Tree played. Pure chills. I know. For me, it was that heartwarming moment in Our Blue with With You in the background. Heartstrings officially tugged. I agree. And it seems that the fans have been split between those two tracks too. But there can only be one winner. And the award for the best OST release of the year goes to... Christmas Tree by BTS's V from our beloved Summer. Woohoo! Truly, a tune that resonated with so many. Absolutely. Music has that power. Especially when you find out that our beloved Kim tae Young sung it out of loyalty for his friend Che Woo Shik. What do you think, Nidhi? Nidhi, what's going on? Going for the fashionista of the year title yourself? Why not, Nishal? I mean, isn't it all about confidence, style and a little bit of sass? Hmm? Well, you've got the sass down for sure. But let's see who's got the whole package this year. The title fashionista of the year isn't just about wearing the best clothes, but about setting trends, making bold choices and inspiring others with their style. Absolutely. And when we speak about our inspiration, our nominees tonight have given us some jaw-dropping moments on and off the red carpet. Let's take a look. BTS's Jeho, Blackpink's Jenny, I's Jung Won Young, BTS's V, New Jeans, and EXO Sky. Oh, what a list! The fashion game has been strong this year. But you know, the buzz is all about V and Jenny. The fan battles on social media have been intense. Tell me about it. It's been neck and neck. You know, fashion is not just about wearing clothes, it's an art. And these artists have truly shown this year. So, the winner of the Fashionista of the Year is... Any guesses? Hmm, BTS's Wings! Woohoo! What an absolute icon! Of course, it is the visual king. From his iconic airport looks to his association with some of the top fashion brands in the world. Truly the biggest Hallyu fashionista of this year. So, before we move on to our next and final category for the night, there's a very special announcement for our viewers. That's right. It's time to announce the winners of the Hallyu Talk Predict and Win Contest where you, our fans, gave us your predictions for tonight's winners. And that in turn has made you a winner tonight. 
and the winners of the contest will receive their own stand kit, a curated box of Hallyu goodies to flaunt their super stand status. So, let's take a look at the results. Congratulations to all the winners. You will hear from us real soon. So keep checking those DMs. Hold on, Mr. Can you feel that? The energy in the room is palpable. Absolutely, Nidhi. It's the tension, the excitement in the night. Because we've reached the pinnacle of the evening, the zenith of our journey tonight. Every drum roll, every spotlight, it's all been leading up to this moment. That's right. It's time to honor the ones who not only dazzled on stage or screen, but also touched our hearts, sparked trends, and made waves across the Hallyu world. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to celebrate, to cheer, and maybe even shed a tear as we present the nominees for the Hallyu Talk Star of the Year Astros Cha Un Bu, Blackpink's Jisoo, Im Shivan, BTS's Jeho. Kang Daniel, Kim Ji Woo, So Yeon, Ives and Yujin. The weight of this moment is so heavy, and the brilliance of our nominees is unparalleled. One name, however, will echo a little louder tonight. And the Hallyu Talk Star of the Year is Astros Cha Un Woo. A monumental triumph in a year of legends. A thunderous applause for an iconic star. Heartfelt congratulations. The universe of Hallyu shines brighter with you. And with that, we're at the end of the night. And what an exhilarating night this has been, Nidhi. From breathtaking performances, iconic moments, to the sheer love and passion of the Hallyu community, tonight was truly a celebration. Absolutely, Nishal. Who could forget the suspense when it came to the best male and female squad of the year? The joyous roar of the crowd for the fantastic K-drama scene stealer or the emotional crescendo with the How You Talk star of the year. This evening was sprinkled with moments that will be etched in our memories for years to come. We owe the magnificence of tonight to all the fans. Your unwavering support, your words and your energy tonight They've been the heartbeat of the event truly. That's so true. And a heartfelt thanks to all the artists, nominees and winners. Your art, passion and dedication are the reasons why the Hallyu Wave continues to grow and make its mark globally. A massive shout out to our team behind the scenes and everyone involved. Pulling off a night like this is no small feat. And your efforts are genuinely appreciated. As the curtains come down on tonight's festivities, we look ahead with bright eyes and hopeful hearts. The future of Hallyu Entertainment is bright and the best is yet to come. Until then, keep loving, keep supporting and never let the Hallyu spirit fail. Kamsam Neera, Aniyongi Shumuseo everyone and see you next year.